Welcome back again, yet again, to another video from Resolution Design. If you're brand new to this channel, as I tell everyone else, this is the venue or this is the area where you learn everything related to Shopify. In today's video, we are going to talk about shipping again. But in my last video, which I'll plug in on the upper right hand corner in case you missed it, we spoke about how to set up shipping if you are someone who does drop shipping. So if you want to go and revisit that video because you're a drop shipping business, go up, up in the right hand corner. I'll leave a link there. But this video, what we're going to learn is how to set up shipping if you're a private supplier. A private supplier, by the way, what that means is that if you are a business, that you're not using AliExpress, you're not using uh, these drop shipping companies, Oberlo, you're not using none of that. Instead, you're buying the products yourself, you're fulfilling them yourself, or you have a fulfillment center which does this for you. That's what you're gonna learn in this video, how to set up shipping if you're doing this yourself. So we're gonna cover a lot of USPS stuff, uh, a lot of rules when it comes to shipping. That's what we're gonna learn today. All right, so again, if you like this type of content, make sure that you subscribe, turn that notification bell on so that you know when I'm coming out with a hot new video that's really gonna help you out on your business, okay? So now that we got that out the way, let's get started. Okay, so in this particular video, we're going to use the Vessel Market one of our clients, you know, we have more coming soon related to this business, so I'm very excited for it, okay? So let's dive in right away. What is the objective? This is the objective. I'm gonna show you. So this right here is the type of shipping that we need to set up, right? We need to offer these prices to our clients, but the issue is a little bit more complicated than that. It's not just these prices. We have a range of shipping that we need to make sure that we have categorized here. So we need to make sure that uh, we have what, what are called classes. We need to create classes, right? And then we need to create prices for each and every one of them. You'll understand what I mean in a second, but now that you understand the visuals of this, let's go first and do something very important. We're gonna go to the products. Now in this particular example, we don't have too many products. We wanna keep it nice and simple for you guys. So we have these vessels and then we have, you know, 10 ounce, 14 ounce in two different colors, okay? And what we wanna do first is we wanna do a bulk change. We wanna update the weight value of all these products. This is very important. Why is weight important? Well, weight is gonna allow us to program the rules in the shipping. So please make sure that you're following the weight instruction first, and then we're gonna go into the shipping, okay? So this is what we're gonna do first. Uh, we're gonna go right here and first find out how much do these products weigh? Okay, so I went fast forward and I already got the weight. Let's go ahead and add this in. So we're going to go here into the bulk editor. I'm going to select every one of them. Uh, if you cannot select every one of them all in one shot, uh, just make sure that you click on this button right here and there might be a link over here. It says click to select 50 plus products and that's exactly what you want to do, okay? All right, so we're going to go here where it says edit products and this is going to take us to our bulk editor. By default, this almost looks like Microsoft Excel. Uh, by default, we have these fields here. We don't really much care about SKU or compare that price, so we're gonna exit those out. Uh, you saw how easy that was. It might take longer for you if you have a very long list, so just be patient. All right, right here, we're gonna go to add fields, and right here, what we're looking for is weight. We're gonna click on weight, and now here it is. And oh, great, so our client went ahead and added the weight values here. So we have 12 pounds for the 10 ounce, right? And then right here, this one's 15 pounds, and then 12, and then 15. Great, so we have the pounds ready. Uh, you don't have to use pounds, you could use, go right here and you could change to ounces, kilograms, or grams whichever one that you feel is fit. Now, you don't have to be technical about it. It doesn't have to be accurate. For us, we're just using this as something that we would use as rule sets. So again, step number one is to make sure that all your products in this particular instance is using weight. So this training is how to set up shipping based on weight. 
We're, we will do a separate video when it's based on price, but this one, I want to make sure that I'm very clear on this. All right, let's continue. So the next step, let's go right ahead into settings. We're going to go into settings here, and then we're going to shipping and delivery. And if you're doing this for the first time, this might seem kind of weird. So let's go right here to it says manage rates. And then from there, we're going to notice that we have some default values. Um, by the way, strong disclosure, if you get stuck somewhere around here, make sure that you have the location set up. So let me just back up on this and show you because some of you guys might have problems with this. Others might not. So strong clarification on what location is. So location by default, whatever address that you place on the general. So if you go right here, if you click on this right here and you see what you have placed as an address, um, chances are that address, which perhaps might be your home address, will copy paste into locations. And what you need to do is make sure that you update your location so that it's not showing your house. So instead it's showing your fulfillment center or it's showing, let's say like a PO box, which is what I recommend. So if you're working from home, but you are shipping your products from home, when you deliver it, you don't want to show anybody where you live. What you want to do is go get a PO box. Uh, it, it, you get one of the cheapest ones. It doesn't cost that much a month. Uh, they give you a key. You have to fill out an application, so on and so forth. And what you do on the location is that you put the post office where you purchase the P.O. box, you go and you put that address. So go on Google Maps, look for the post office that you purchase your P.O. box. That's the address that you're going to put on locations. But, you know, you're going to put on address line number two, you're going to put P.O. box 1000, blah, 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 with the whole foot zip code and everything. That way, if any mail comes to you, such as returns, so on and so forth, uh, it'll go back to the USPS office and they'll redirect it to your post office uh, mailbox. OK, so locations update that. Make sure you do that. Then let's go into shipping settings. OK, shipping and delivery. If you have questions about location, guys, let me know down in the comments what issues you guys might have regarding locations and I'll be more than happy to answer it. So we're going here to where it says shipping and delivery. And right here, we're going to go where it says manage rates. Uh, we have we might have some things set up here and what we're going to do is we're going to wipe this clean. So what I'm going to go ahead is get rid of these default values that sometimes Shopify goes ahead and adds those out. So right here, uh, because we registered the business in the US, we went to domestic and we erased all of that. Now, this business that I'm building uh, that we're building this for is not a business that's going to entertain the rest of the world, meaning that we don't want to sell internationally. We just want to sell domestically inside of the United States. And so what we're going to do for the rest of the world is we're going to click on these three dots right here and we're going to go ahead and click on delete. We're going to delete that entire area and let's press save. This allows us to go ahead and continue at a clean slate. Uh, so no international orders, just domestic orders. That's where we're at here. Now let's go ahead and add a rate. Okay. So I want to remind you guys, um, let me show you this screenshot right here. Um, our client went ahead and told us, Hey, we want to use something like this because there are good rates that she gets. Like she gets very, very good rates. And she's like, you know, I, I don't care if I profit two or three dollars on top of whatever these rates are, but I want it to emulate something like this. Well, after looking at this, these rates and kind of like testing out the weight values and all that, I realized that she was right, that she does have very good rates. These are actually very good rates. Let me know down in the comments if you're interested in finding out who gives you the, the cheapest USPS rates. And then depending on how many comments I get, I'll go ahead and make another video, give you guys the secret. But I want to know if you guys need it. I don't want to make a video for no reason. So these are her rates. When I seen these rates, I realized, hey, you know what? Shopify also acts as a USPS broker. Uh, just to explain what a USPS broker means, okay? If you go to the post office, you are going to pay the most retail price for shipping, right? Just as a walk-in, you're going to get the walk-in price and the walk-in price is typically the most expensive. You could go to USPS.com and you could see what those values are. Maybe if you go to USPS.com, you'll see an online special price, but typically that's how it works. 
a USPS broker is a business who cuts a deal with USPS and says, look, we're going to give you a lot of orders, but we need you to give us discounted prices so that we can give our clients, you guys, discounted prices. That's called being a broker, that they have a special account that they create with USPS and then give you the benefits. You are now looking right now at a very low discount price because this company here is using is a USPS broker and is giving the merchant these values. I looked at Shopify's prices and Shopify's prices are much higher than what you see here. And so we were like, hey, you know what? Then let's do the calculated pricing. So this video, we're going to we're going to integrate USPS calculated pricing. And let's go. Let's let's get back into the scenario here. So how do we do that? We come back over here and we're going to go ahead and add a rate. OK, so from right here, instead of setting our own rates, we're going to use a carrier. We're going to use a carrier. And then from this here, we're going to click on this drop down and we're going to use USPS discounted rates from Shopify shipping. Remember, Shopify is acting as a carrier, right, or a broker. Now, every business is different from this here. OK, so depending on what you are selling, you might be only, you know, you might be able to only ship out using a specific service. OK, but I know for a fact that when it comes to this particular business and again going back to the previous uh the previous screen here i just want to make sure you understand what i'm talking about you know they're offering express with regular mail and so on and so forth okay so they want to offer from the lowest to the medium to the highest that's what they want to do so let's go over here this is one right here this is one this is two okay and ground is three. Okay, so we're gonna select these three. Okay, and we're not gonna add any more money to this. Okay, we're not going to charge any more money. Why? Because remember, we have a brokerage account, right? We have a brokerage account. We're, we're paying less money, but Shopify is gonna charge a little bit more. So we're not gonna add anything here. I'm gonna go ahead and press done. And then don't forget to press save. I'm going to go ahead and do that and notice the top bar profile updated. So we have discounted rates from Shopify shipping with three services and these three services are at such. OK, so I think we are ready to go. We are ready to test this out. Let's go ahead and test this out. Um, let's go over here. I already have something kind of in the cart. I have this right here, some vessels, so on and so forth. So let me go ahead and add my information in here. And let me go ahead and pause this video and fill this out. Okay, added information here. Let's go ahead and calculate shipping. And there it is. So we have the three calculated shipping depending on how much the weight value is. Again, none of this would have worked. Let's make sure that you guys can see my screen because some of you guys are watching this video on your mobile device and you're like, yo, Ed, I can't see your screen. Um, okay, so what we added right here is just the 10 ounce, right? A 10 ounce case of 12 and as you can see we have three different shipping options one doesn't differ from the other as far as prices is only like a few cents and then after this we have um, one business day which is 5830 so the customer gets to choose um, what's very interesting about this is that we could go ahead and play around with the numbers so let's go back to the cart Let's add three of these and let's go to the checkout. Let's see how all of this just automatically calculates. And there you have it. You could see how that raised the price slightly, especially when it came down to the Priority Express. And that's how it's done. It's pretty much it that that's pretty much it. So go ahead and let me know if you like this type of video, if it actually helped. Um, also, let me know if you need a video where it doesn't talk about calculated shipping right? Um, it's not related to calculated shipping. It's just you doing the shipping yourself, uh, you setting the price yourself. Let me know shipping scenarios in the comments. Say, look, I want to ship it so that it's free after X amount of dollars, but you know, underneath 
you know, X amount of dollars, I want to charge this much. And then after that, I want to charge this much. So give me your shipping complication in the comments, and then I'll try to see the best way to explain that to you. Shipping is a very complicated subject for many, and that's why I'm doing this video. Uh, I'm sorry I can't pack everything all in one video, uh, because shipping has so many different scenarios that I'm waiting in the comments to see what you guys ha are having problems with so I can make a video for that type of shipping. Other than that, thank you again. Don't forget to subscribe. Press that blue like button. That's how you support this page. And thank you once again. See you next time.